hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new welcome welcome love if you're old thank you for watching so today in patele is kaka guys huh yeah so ujeli there's a video that's trending on the internet ujeli baby was disrespecting is it jelly baby or jelly baby whatever the hell it is was disrespecting a cashier at a store i don't know what the store was but we'll get into that you know but before i get into that please don't forget to like share comment subscribe etc and yum so guys there is a trending video that jelly is a jelly baby jelly baby jelly baby man in the final I mean, there's a trending video yeah here on the internet i am going to play the video and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary Mega, <laughs> I saw when I'm not going to let man in. I'll see you. And I'll see you soon. As you guys heard in that video, how she was disrespecting the, the, what's this, the cashier. But guys, there's a story to this. Before you guys go and judge Ucheli Baby and whatever. And there is a story to this, guys. That's what I'm always going to say. There's three sides to the story. The cashier story, her story, and the Lord story. But in this situation... I'm going to, and you guys want to hate me for saying this, yes, whatever situation it is or whatever that has happened at the store, we only know that certain part. We don't know what was the cause of her taking that video and her saying those words. Yes, whatever that happened there, she should have not took her out of character or not made her say some of the things she said because I just feel like some of the things were so uncalled for. Calling someone's mom, Uti, Omega, basically that's just like saying you're nothing like you know you because when i looked at like the definition on twitter they said no it, it's you're a car tire basically meaning you're nothing you're rubbish you you know saying that you'll never be amount to anything you don't have anything that was just so wrong for me that for me was just mm -mm. that for me guys was a no no i did not take that lightly she could have just handled the matter in another way but before we get into that, there is a screenshot of her explaining her side of the story and what led to her retaliating the way she did. So the screenshot says, like mutu twanse auroche aru u sfere sangwana so utloka metri kiki didi mali, meaning the person was obviously provoking her in terms of saying she is a B and that she doesn't even have a metric, you know, because she did say she couldn't finish school for. The reasons of you know just go guys and watch the video how she couldn't why she couldn't finish school i'm not gonna explain that and then are nakakwata for the people do not recognize me can't you know kilo performer go meaning she was angry because people do not recognize her because she is going to perform there and then it says after being recognized after being recognized at her english night at then mall I'm going to get paid. She was supposed to say after getting recognized at that mall, I'm go I'm going thing, I'm gonna get paid. Like I'm going to get paid type of thing. But yeah, that's what she was saying. So she basically was just explaining the reason why I'm not gonna read everything else, guys. You can pause the screen and read for yourself. I'm gonna put it here. She was basically saying that the reason why she retaliated the way she did is because the lady provoked her on some. You are a bee. You are a B that needs a that doesn't even have a metric certificate. Basically, the cashier was saying the cashier obviously was throwing hate on her. I feel like the cashier was also the cashier was also jealous because she is like you are a B that needs a metric certificate. 
just because she's working there and she is not she's doing something she loves and she's getting paid to do something she loves i think is making the 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 kesha jealous because she had, the kesha also had like, no right to say that like she could have just let ujeli baby attend here and leave the store you know so yes i'm going to be reading a few comments from a twitter that obviously you are bashing oh jelly baby saying the first time is instagram and twitter influencer jelly baby insulting akesha because she has nothing oh she's nothing to her she did say in the video that you will never have anything you'll never amount to anything which i feel like that was wrong i will hold her accountable that was very wrong and then the comment under says i'm giving her five years plus hana metric six months omunga commented six months guys can't eat because you don't have a metric doesn't mean you're not gonna succeed in life that's a lie let's take casper universe for an example he don't have metric but he is doing way better than half of the people that actually have metric i want to lie to you so having a metric doesn't determine you as success or have a successful future you guys have been lied to a lot and told that education is the only key to success it's not i ain't gonna lie it's not honestly and then the second comment says she needs to be humble life is tricky i agree with that she needs to humble herself sometimes i know cashiers get a bit you know but yes and then she says but to jelly baby why is she showing her stack made behavior on tiktok soon she will be the one who's behind the tales the entertainment industry is very short i won't lie guys entertainment industry is is, is not for the faint-hearted honestly you know how many people have tried and tried and they're just like you know what this is not for me and yeah, we, we've seen one hit wonders and people who have fell off. And I feel like people are saying this because well, I think there was a guy called Busima R5 who obviously she was under their like company or whatever. And when the guy died, everybody thought that, you know, she was not going to make it in the industry and whatever. And look now, Bobby Cooper did her things and, you know, decided, uh, you see, like, guys, mm -hmm. when it's your time, it's your time. That's what I'm just going to say. And then the next comment says, this is why I don't even blame a Kesha that has no smile or is not polite anymore. Customers are very abusive out there. Uh -uh. Guys, I know Kesha's be somehow. It's not customers that are abusive out there. It's how the sometimes the Kesha approaches you or the, uh, the manner of approach they use. You can't tell me, and I'm going to emphasize this so much. If you're working in the industry of customer service, the best you could do is be very polite. Have you seen the cast the cashiers at ShopRite? I don't even want to talk. While they are helping you, ki chepi skamo, ki ki ki, chomi, did you go on lunch? Ki, ish, I cannot tell it. You get what I'm trying to say? Customer service industry now is very tricky, so don't you ever say a customer is very abusive. She was not abusive. At no point did she go and beat the lady up. Yes, her words were, but please, let's get that correct. And then it says, sometimes such behavior says a lot about what kind of home does this person come from, honestly. No, guys. Yes, okay, maybe I'm like 50-50. You cannot blame her for acting the way she did. The words the Kesha said to her, and you're totally good to the Kesha said them low-key and didn't think she was going to hear them. The fact that she heard them was like, oh, okay, let me, you see. So yeah, guys, please do not people and then Omuya she posted this video on TikTok hoping something other than the outcome they ate her up and removed it now we are here one of the things about people who always say but don't to all don't do friends they always show us why they should be by themselves I guys I'm not gonna say a lot there I'm honestly not gonna say a lot and then and then obviously guys the lady where i got the screenshot said like every action there's a reaction no one walks into the store and starts saying such something triggered them something triggered that we might judge her but because she's a public figure of what back here she could have handled the situation better we all get angry especially by the service we get in our stores i agree that 100 percent guys <coughs> sorry the service we get in our stores is crazy I don't want to lie to you guys. It's very crazy. These cashiers do not respect us at all. I don't want to lie. Yes, a customer is always right. But, like I said, when you work in the customer service industry, good luck, honey. And sometimes you actually do get cashiers that actually, it's not, they don't think about it as a job. They actually, no, no, I'm going to see people. I'm going to serve people. Let me smile. Let me be polite. I'm not expecting you to treat me like an egg or whatever. 
but at least hello how are you doing ma'am this is why people are always comparing ShopRite and the service you get at Woolworths because it's two different services, guys. And my Jew was a total booty in both the shops, both the cashiers went for again training, but you can tell there's two different services. I walked into a ShopRite store, the lady saw I was getting a lot of things. Not once did she ask me if I want a plastic after I've paid and I told her I want a plastic. She's like, Oh, but you didn't say that. But my thing is, like, you are supposed to ask me if I want a plastic because that's your job. You're supposed to be like, do you want a plastic don't you want you know but i went to let's guys i wasn't i think i was buying like three items and the lady's like do you want a bag ma'am can i get you a bag can i i was so shocked i'm like wow if only every store could have such service so guys the way uh cash us treat us sometimes is what makes us retaliate i'm not condoning her behavior but what i'm just trying to say is that if they would treat us better sometimes maybe we would also give them the same but anyway guys if you like such content from me please don't forget to like share comment subscribe do i love you